books of the Bible, the Gospels. So part of God's story is about Jesus' life on earth, and it's told in four books of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They're called the Gospels, or the Good News, and it goes like this. The Bible is made up of all kinds of stories, poems, and letters, and it's all about God. The Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the first four books of the New Testament. They tell the life story of Jesus, God's Son, who became a man and showed us what God is like. Even though the Gospels were written a long time ago, the good news is still good today. Matthew wanted to help God's special family, the Israelites, see that Jesus was the long-awaited rescuer, the King. Matthew showed that the Old Testament is full of promises and prophecies, and they're all pointing to Jesus. Mark was a young man who personally saw a lot of the things that Jesus said and did, like healing people who were sick and blind and teaching people about God's kingdom with parables. Luke was an educated doctor and wrote his gospel based on a lot of his own research and traveling with the Apostle Paul. John, who wrote the fourth gospel, wanted people to know that Jesus was fully man and fully God and that Jesus' miracles prove that He is the same God who created the heavens and the earth. Or as John put it, these are written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that by believing in Him, you will have life by the power of His name. Each gospel shares the good news of Jesus in its own way. And sometimes the stories are in a different order or some famous stories from one gospel aren't in the others. These aren't mistakes though. This is just what happens when different people try to tell the same amazing story. One person might remember details another person didn't notice and another person might think some parts of the story are more important than the rest. For example, the Christmas story about Jesus' birth to Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. That part of Jesus' story is only in Matthew and Luke. And the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, that's only in John's Gospel. But some stories are in all the Gospels, like Jesus feeding thousands of people with just a few loaves of bread and some fish. The most important thing that Jesus ever did is in all four of the Gospels, dying on the cross, being buried in a tomb, and coming back to life three days later. Jesus beat death and show that he really is the rescuer, fully man and fully God, the same God that made the heavens and the earth. That's really, really good news. Whether you've known about Jesus for a long time or this is the first time you're hearing about him. Reading the gospels helps us believe that Jesus is a good king who is all powerful, all knowing and all good. It helps us see God as our Father by getting to know His Son, Jesus, who came full of grace and truth, meaning He always spoke the truth and was always loving. And just as Jesus cared for people who were sick, poor, and forgotten, we can also care for the least of these. The Gospels help us realize that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can be close to God again. In fact, the whole Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament, tells the story over and over about how God is good, how He loves people, and how He wants them to be close to Him again. Or as John said in chapter 3, verse 16 of his gospel, this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. All those things are part of the good news, also known as the gospel about Jesus. And that's a little bit about the books in the Bible called the Gospels. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The Gospels are four books of the Bible. They're all in the New Testament. They're all different in some ways. And they're all about Jesus. And that's a part of God's story.